Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. And my YouTube channel is to promote home cooking that is efficient, creative, healthy, and fun. And my cooking system is primarily based on the wok. Therefore, a well-functioned and well-seasoned wok is critical. In this video, I'm going to show you a method known as spot seasoning that I developed uh, used to season a wok without non-stick coating. Uh, I have three woks, a 16-inch uh, light cast iron wok, uh, a 14-inch hand hammer carbon steel wok, and a 13-inch uh, traditional cast iron wok. Uh, all these woks have natural surfaces, uh, therefore they must be seasoned in order to maintain their functionality. A seasoning of natural surface cookware has two functions. Uh, the first function is to prevent them from rusting. Uh, in here is an example of a wok that shows rust because it was not properly seasoned before put into storage. Uh, the second function is to prevent food uh, sticking to the bottom of the wok. Uh, here is an example of a wok that is not seasoned. You can see how the egg got stuck into the wok. Uh, most new woks require seasoning uh, before first use. However, some of the wok come pre-seasoned. Uh, the wok manufacturer uh, always provide instruction on how to season the wok before first use. However, uh, the method varies, and it is time-consuming, and it usually takes up to 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, however, wok lost their seasoning upon use. Uh, cooking certain type of food, such as acidic food or boiling water, will remove the seasoning. Uh, to me, the loss of seasoning is one of the biggest challenge uh, in using the wok. And sometimes I'm afraid to cook in certain way because I'm afraid that I might remove the seasoning. Uh, I used to be very reluctant in the scrub the wok because I'm afraid that I might remove the seasoning. But now I do it all the time because of my seasoning method. Uh, two years ago, I discovered something interesting. Uh, when I fry an egg in a wok that is poorly seasoned or not seasoned, the eggs will stick to the bottom of the wok. Uh, interestingly, when I fry a second egg, uh, it will not stick to the wok, uh, suggesting that somehow frying the first egg uh, seasoned the wok. I was very curious about this observation. So after doing some research and experimentation, I discover it is the condition in frying the first egg is responsible for create the seasoning for the wok. Uh, the process turned out to be uh, the behavior of the oil. Uh, because during frying the first egg, the oil reach certain temperature, it start to break down, and the end result is that it coat the surface of the wok. Uh, so as long as I create the same condition, uh, I don't need to fry an egg and I will be able to season the wok. So I developed the following procedure and I call it spot seasoning. It is quick and easy and you can do it readily uh, each time when you use the wok. Uh, first, add sufficient oil uh, to cover the bottom of the wok and then turn on the heat to the highest setting. Watch for any sign of the oil start to smoke. And it usually takes about two to three minutes, uh, depending on the types of woks. Once you detect the smoke, uh, immediately uh, turn the heat to the lowest setting. Uh, let the oil to smoke for about 15 to 30 seconds. Uh, the smoke should uh, come out very gently. Uh, at this time, the wok is ready and it's seasoned and you can fry an egg and to test it. I let the egg to fry for about two minutes uh, before try to move the egg with the wok spatula. Uh, if the egg glide freely across the surface of the wok, uh, you know the seasoning has been successful. I call this method spot seasoning for the reason that I could season my wok anytime I want right uh, on the spot. Uh, in addition that it works in my 14-inch carbon steel wok, it also works in my 16-inch light cast iron wok, as well as my 13-inch traditional cast iron wok. Give it a try, and let me know your 
experience with this seasoning method. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I will see you again soon. And also, stay safe.